recording. There you go. Right. Okay, we're going to do touch for health two muscles, muscle positions, not corrections. So we'll start with supraspinatus, central meridian, if you can face me. So arm out to the side, if both arms out, be like hugging a tree, big tree. Um, so I'm going to take the arm across the body and you're going to meet my pressure. So that's the direction of the test. And that one. Cool. Um, second position, teres major, which is governing. Um, so I'm going to make sure that you're not bracing there at all, but you're just keeping your elbow back and I'm going to draw your elbow towards me. Note my bracing positions. So my hand braces in the opposite direction. Okay, on to stomach meridian, neck. We're going to do the neck flexors. Um, so we're going to bring the head forwards and then turn it to one side, a bit like coming up for air if you're swimming. And I'm going to support the back of the body, the upper back, and press on the forehead and direct the head directly back towards the spine, towards the midline. Look the other way, the other way. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> okay, and you can... You can, if you want to just fine tune it, you can have the person looking a little bit in one direction and then as far as they can go in, one, in that direction, just so you're testing all possibilities and correcting as you need to for any of those if they um, do not lock. Okay, another stomach correction is the brachioradialis, our karate chop. chop. Um, so arm forward, support elbow, press down on the wrist. Brachioradialis. Uh, then we're on to spleen and we've got the middle trapezius and the lower trapezius for this one. So let's start with middle. So if you can stick your arm out to the side, palm towards me. I'm coming towards me. You're going to keep it there. So meet the pressure and same. And then we'll do the lower trapezius. So arms out again, palm facing up. I'm going to press up, you're going to meet my pressure. Okay, lovely. And then we're going on to the heart, which we know from part one is subscapularis. So we're going to stand, relax, let me have the weight of your arm. If I don't get the weight of the arm, just turn a little bit, then I say, right, pop your arm up like that, and now just let it go. It'll be floppy. There we go, that's more weight. Um, and I'm directing the forearm towards me. And that's it, all good, all done. Towards me. Um, then we're on to the small intestine, we're doing the rectus abdominals. So we need to make sure we're doing a proper tuck here, our stomach, to tuck ourselves in, as if we're going to do a little sit-up, but a standing up version of a sit-up. So we need to drop the rib cage down and bring the pubic bone up. And we'll just get the arms out of the way. Um, I'm directing pressure straight back, supporting the lower back. Okay, and that's your rectus abdominals for your small intestine. Then we're on to bladder, which is the opposite muscle, the opposite side of the body, another supporting muscle going down the back either side of the spine. So we're going to do a nice twist, we're going to engage the whole length of that muscle. So arms out the way and turn and look as far as you can over your shoulder. I'm trying to untwist, holding the front of the hip and directing pressure forwards. Okay, remember it's two, two pounds of pressure. When you've got bigger bulky bits of body, it's difficult to do it with your two fingers. So you can use a bit more hands, but stick to two pounds. Um, then we're on to the kidney. Uh, meridian and for this we're going to get our clients to just support themselves on something, lift a leg up behind them and flap it out. So we're flapping the leg out to the side. Can you take it any further? Struggling, might not be working but anyway here we go, here's a test. So I'm taking the leg back to the midline and asking them to meet the pressure. And same with that one, make sure that the feet are relaxed. Lovely, so taking it across Back to the midline. Um, and then we're going to go into circulation sex. We need a book. You can stand on this. So with one foot on a book, the other foot next to it, but just off the book, we're going to test the adductors. Um, so I'm going to bring the leg out away from the other leg, supporting the hip, and drawing the leg away from the leg foot that's on the book. Of course, the foot that's not on the book needs to be hovering, otherwise I won't get the leg away if it's not working. 
So drawing the leg away from the other leg. Circulation sex, adductors. Uh, then we want to triple warmer, sartorius is the next one. So we're going to, it's quite an interesting pose. Again, hold on. <laughs> Uh, and bend the leg like so, bring it a little, that's it. And what I need to want to do is try and straighten the leg. So I'm going to draw the knee across and the, and the heel out at the same time, doing two things at once. Okay, and then we'll do it with the other one. Okay, knee across and heel out at the same time. Lovely, thank you. Um, one from triple warmer to gallbladder. Gallbladder, we're going to do the popliteus, and I'm just going to grab a chair. Um, what I need you to do is, is it like this, if you can rest your knee on the chair. And resting the knee on the chair um, stops the quadriceps from working and, and cheating for this muscle. So resting the knee on the chair and then we rotate the foot in. Could be on my knee, I could get to rest it on my knee. So the chair works quite well. Um, make sure the foot is flat, not pointed, and rotated in, and I'm going to support the outside of the, um, the foot here, and the ankle, and draw the inside of the foot outwards, and pressing that way. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, on from uh, gallbladder uh, to liver, rhomboids, I've got my cheat sheet down here. Sure, I've got it all. Okay, and then if you put your arm like that, face the camera. Um, so we want to make sure that we're only testing the right side. So we're going to put the arm out the, out the way here so that we don't get the left side getting involved with the right side test. Keep the elbow in at the side. I'm going to draw your arm away from your body, but you're going to meet my pressure. Note that my bracing hand is on the shoulder in the opposite direction. So that's your liver rhomboids. Um, we're going to move on now to lung, we're going to do the deltoid, so put an arm out like so. Um, I'm going to put my arm on top of the crook of the elbow, you're going to rest your forearm there, just to make another connection, little dance, and I'm going to press down on the crook of the elbow, so this hand is pressing down, same thing here, and I'm pressing down, okay that's lung. Um, and on to large intestine we've got the quadratus lumborum. So for this one it's not like a big hug, so I want you to stand next to me with your hip into my hip, feet together, my feet apart, you're bending away and I'm pulling on your shoulder and you're not moving, so that's good, so I'm meeting my pressure. So into my hip and there we go. That's your part two. <laughs>